It is coated in gold, 24 carats of the finest Florentine gold foil. The DM2 gold torpedo, there's nothing else like it. Its appearance is elegant and mysterious. The man behind this masterpiece, Daniel Marshall. Marshall is taking a special trip from California to Berlin for a cigar fair at one of the best-known cigar traders in town. In his suitcase lies a true object of desire, a golden cigar. The 12 best cigar and accessory manufacturers are meeting for an exclusive tobacco product show. There are only specialists here. Today, everything is about the enjoyment and the cult of the cigar. The Californian is attracting a lot of attention. There's a lot of interest in this golden cigar and many different opinions. A rocket made of chocolate and indulgence. It looks great, of course. But for me, however, I find it's more of a lifestyle product than a tobacco product. It appeals to me on an aesthetic level, but not really as something to be actively enjoyed. The idea of gilding a cigar came to Daniel Marshall when he received an order to develop a humidor for the movie Scarface in 2011. It was so luxurious that he felt it deserved a cigar that was just as unique. I had no idea that I'd ever be smoking a cigar covered in gold. But now that I am, it's uh, tremendous because it's uh, really celebrating a golden moment. In order to enjoy it, cigar lovers will have to dig deep. Cigars gilded in 24 karat gold cost $200 each. However, a good cigar is not only recognized by its gold. It's quite an art to find the perfect mixture of tobacco. Three different types of tobacco from Nicaragua are used for Marshall's exclusive masterpieces. An additional feature of its quality is the hand production. Only the best master rollers have command over the correct rotation technique. The pressure, what she's doing, applying right now to the cigars with each one of her fingers is critical because if it's too tight, that becomes a cigar that's not smokable. So it, it takes too much. You have to be a vacuum cleaner to smoke the cigar. So if her pressure is too light, then there'll be too much space in between the tobacco leaves and it will burn unevenly or it will just uh, it, it will fall apart. One can tell a hand-rolled cigar by its irregularity and its closed cigar head. Its external coat should be even, a sign that much attention has been paid to detail. But what would a cigar be without the right accessories? From the cigar cutter to the high-quality humidor, the latter is a must for the proper storage of these sensitive tobacco products. The most important point is that they realize that they need a humidor. That's why it's very important uh, to have the idea that the cigar is living. So you want to keep it between 65% humidity, no more than 72% humidity. Daniel's personal success story began at the beginning of the 80s with such a wooden box. In order to make his dream of owning a sailboat come true, he borrowed $15,000 from his then-girlfriend's grandfather. The search for a suitable thank you led to the Californian's ticket into the humidor business. So why not make him something that he loves, something for his cigars? He knew nothing about cigars. So I made him a little case in the wood, the wood I was building my boat held three cigars with a little plate on the bottom, to Papa Joe, love Danny, thank you for believing in me, 1981. The former surfer is now a successful businessman. His interpretation of luxury has practically made him a celebrity among cigar lovers. Hollywood stars such as Will Smith and Al Pacino are among his regular clientele. And close friendships have also developed through the cigar business, for example with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Ralph Muller. Caroline Beil has arranged to meet Daniel Marshall and try his golden cigar. In order to learn to smoke these properly, he teaches her some important rules which cigar smokers should follow. Then our host is finally able to savor some golden enjoyment. Daniel, I just saw the sign. To smoke is human, to smoke a cigar is divine. What is so divine about smoking a cigar? Well, that is certainly something that words cannot express better than the experience of smoking a cigar. How does a professional cigar smoker smell a cigar? Certain people smell 
the wrapper, but the way to really smell is through the foot of the cigar. Mm -hmm. The masters and the geniuses can actually tell you where the tobacco is from mm -hmm. and which factory produced it. It does, it does smell sweet. Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. is there is there something like chocolate or? Well, that's the blend. Daniel Marshall cigar mm -hmm. is chocolate and espresso and creaminess. I wanted to taste like, like a cappuccino. Cigar aficionados also have a certain procedure for lighting a cigar. After cutting off the tip, the cigar foot is lit while continuously being spun. This allows the cigar to burn especially evenly. The first puff should only be taken after this step. Connoisseurs do not light the cigar while it is in their mouth. Mm. It's very mellow, it's very almost sweet. Nice, but you don't inhale. Inhaling is a word I don't even know what it means. <laughs> Because as, as I've always said, we don't even smoke cigars, we taste cigars. For the first kiss, for the first moment, it has to be a good experience. Mm -hmm. And the good experience would be if you do not inhale, like you might a cigarette. In order to underscore the experience, it's nice to combine it with a drink. So now that I have this very beautiful taste in my mouth, I have to say, I didn't expect that, so, really. Um, what, what would be the perfect drink? Water, whiskey, red wine? My favorite drink would be whiskey. The taste is, starts out very smooth and rich and evolves. I think that whiskey is made exactly the same way as cigars. So I like to say that we taste history with a cigar and we taste history with whiskey. Daniel, what makes the cigar so special for you? Is it, is it the gold? Is it the taste? Is it the, the, the luxury itself? What would you say? I, I think it's a combination of the things you said. The look is beautiful. I've always loved gold. The taste is spectacular. Mm -hmm. But more than anything, what that gold cigar now represents to me is the idea that I can share in people's celebration. As sophisticated and unique as the smoking of the cigar is, in the end, all that is left over is a small pile of ash. Nevertheless, even these remains are valuable. The gold of every DM cigar is worth $70, a unique luxury which, in the end, goes up in smoke.